Welcome to Not Too Late. I'm your host, Mia Holtzman. Today is a very special day. It's Thanksgiving! Although the semester is coming to a close, I realized I don't know our new writers quite as well as I had hoped. So I invited them all to my home for Thanksgiving dinner. I've asked everyone to contribute. Oh, looks like our first guest is here. Hi, come on in! Hi there, Mia! Oh my god, come it's on. so good to see you. I brought gravy! <laughs> Thank you so much! Oh, we have another person. Hi! I brought gravy! Oh, okay, more gravy. Perfect. We'll have a lot of gravy to. Oh, hi! Hey! It's gravy time! <laughs> awesome! Oh, hi! hi. Do hi. Yeah. I brought gravy! Perfect. You can just sit on. Choo, choo, choo! Gravy train! Oh, more gravy! Yay! Okay, gravy party, I guess. Um. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for bringing gravy. I'm so excited that you guys all came. Happy um, to be here. Okay. Um, I was hoping to like get to know you guys a little bit better. So, like, does anyone have like any fun Thanksgiving traditions they do? Like, like my mom and I, we would um, break the wishbone together. Yeah, my family, we like to get up early and watch the Macy's Day Parade together. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Same, except my dad insists on watching football for the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Well. They don't allow me at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade anymore. Wait, why? He tried to sneak his homemade balloon into the parade last year. Yeah, the NYPD does not like him. What balloon did he even try to make? Uh, only the best balloon ever. The, the Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone. Stallone. The, the Sylvester Stallone, Stallone balloon. balloon. So what's everyone thankful for? Well, I'm thankful for my lovely boyfriend and his lovely boyfriend. Well, I'm thankful for being a part of the Not Too Late family. Those 65 hour work weeks sure are tough, but whenever I get to see the product at the end of it, it makes everything worth it. Well, I think I'm thankful for, oh gosh, the Indiana fever, um, <laughs> the bare naked ladies, and my 66 hour work weeks. I'm thankful for MILF titties <laughs> and family. <laughs> And, you know, I guess, you know, lately me and my family have been watching a lot of Seinfeld, and um, I just think that it's really brought us together. And I think I just have to say I'm thankful for Jerry Seinfeld. In this studio? Wh uh, what? His name. In this studio? I, who doesn't love Jerry? Kids table now. Fuck ass Bob. Well, even though we didn't get Jerry Seinfeld, Jesse Eisenberg's been on Not Too Late, and that's pretty cool. Wait, Wait he, he was, was on, on the, the show? show? Yeah, guys, it's like our most popular episode. When? It was like back when Tucker and Sebastian were here. Whom? Have you guys even seen the show before? No. Yes. No. Okay, just go, just go. Michaela, will you pass the gravy? She, she gravy. She gravy. No. She gravy on my. No. She gravy on my boat N till I. No. She gravy on my boat till I. N just. No. Till I mash her potatoes. Come in. very special guest that I was clearly not expecting because I thought he was dead. Sebastian Russell, my, my predecessor. Hey, Mia. 
Hey, how um how's the afterlife been? No, it's it's good. I haven't eaten in a while because there's no food in the afterlife. Oh, there isn't. No, it's um, at least where I am. <laughs> and it sure as hell ain't heaven. <laughs> no, it's not. Do they have a lot of gravy? No, no, I don't even like gravy, but I like eating, so mm -hmm. it just seems like something I should eat. Uh, welcome back to Not Too Late with Sebastian Russell. I'm Sebastian Russell. With me today is a lovely guest, Mia Holtzman. Um, they're my new co-host. So uh, thank you, thank I'm you everyone for um, welcoming Mia yes. to the new show. Just because you've been suffering for so long, I'll allow you to do that, but just remember it's my show now. Remember whose name is now on the logo, if you'll recall. Um, two. Hmm. Can you reach the table very well when you're that low sitting down? Okay, that's perfect. Perfect enough, right? Yeah. What have you been up to in um, the days since your passing? <coughs> um, just like, I'm trying to, always on that grind, you know? Just always on that grind. The, the boss makes that difficult, uh, the constant torture. Yeah. The boss being Satan, I assume. <laughs> I, I don't want to name drop. You know? Won't name any names. Listen, you guys, you're still in school. You know, yeah. I'm out there. And I don't want to, like, show off. You'll get there one day, kid. You know? <laughs> you know? And I hope to. Yeah. And I hope to. So, like, that's why I was like, maybe it's Satan. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's, maybe it's not the big guy. I signed an is. NDA of blood. You know, it's like, it's what you do. So. Yeah. I remember when you made all of us sign NDAs so that we can divulge the working tradition. I assume I passed that knowledge on to you to make your new writers. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, they're allowed to talk about the amount of hours they worked. Yeah, um, which I noticed isn't much. I had you guys working much I've, more than that. I know, I've really, really, really cut down on that. It's yeah. only um, like in the 60 to 70 hour work weeks, nothing even close to the like 100 hour. I know, 100, like way. you get some good content out of 100. By the time, by I the know. time you hit 80 is when like the, the energy just really like, you get Amped that up. second wind, you yeah. know? No, I've noticed a lot of fatigue in our writers and the show's really been going downhill yeah. since you left. Yeah. You I mean, not view wise. View wise, I hear you guys are actually doing considerably better. <laughs> we're doing, we're, hey, we're doing pretty well on that yeah, side. That's good. We've got tons of devoted fans. Yeah. Like yeah. 12? Yeah, at least. That's good. That's yeah. Good. I remember when Not Too Late had 12. They fans. really love um, me and my, my turn this season to um, very anti union politics. Yeah. They've really been liking I, that. I was, I was very union, weirdly. Yeah. Yeah. But I overworked you. But I just thought it, it worked. Yeah, we had a union, but it wasn't a strong one. Mm. Mm. So, so anti-union yeah. was the way to go. No, I get that. Mm -hmm. I get that. Did the did the strike affect you guys? Um, not industry? me. Not you. No, I kept. I pushed through. Yeah. I made our writers still come. They they stopped coming. No. They quit. They quit. <laughs> but um, yeah. but the show kept going. So. Well, the show has to keep going. It has to go I, on. I'm proud of you for making it happen. All this hard-hitting journalism is so important that the people here. Yeah. All the guests that we have on. Uh -huh. it's I really saw that the ghost vanquishers were, were back. They were back. How are they're, they? They're good. They're carpet cleaners now. Really? Yes. That I, Similar business. I work in plumbing now. I've heard. How is um, how is the plumbing business? It's it's good. You meet a lot of interesting characters. Um, Giving up your, your dreams of being a comedian and or media related. Yeah, I just, I just figured it was kind of like very beta of me to do that. I would agree. Right, I've like always said that. And Alpha you. needs to do a trade. <laughs> <laughs> I've and I've always said that, and I've always said that about you. Yeah, I'm an alpha dog. What could yeah. What can I say? You'll recall the amount of times on set. I'm sure we'll cut to clips of mm -hmm. that happening. Sure. How many times I've always referred to you as an alpha on the show? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But which, yeah, you know, you should. I should because it's true. Yeah, I just. That Alphas wear sweater vests. That's that's why I got mine. Alphas too. wear sweater vests. If you don't have merch, you do now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a sweater vest. <laughs> my my new sweat. <laughs> We're gonna get Alpha. sweaters. Yeah. Alphas wear sweater vests. I think that's yeah they do. I think they do. Oh my god! Wait, no, sorry, I missed opportunity. I said sweatshirts. They should be sweater vests. They should be sweater vests. Embroidered. Sweater oh yeah. Let's yeah. say alphas. Alphas on the back. Uh huh. 
It's like the pink ladies in Yeah, Greece. and then you guys can like do, do those photos where like you like are like. <laughs> yeah, over the back. Yeah, no, I think that'd be really good. I think so too for our booming merch store for yeah. all of our devoted fans. Yeah. So, so I'm here for a reason, obviously. Thanksgiving, sure. Yeah. Uh, but I just want to make sure that the show is going to keep going, right? I, I need to make sure that happens. So like, do, do you have something worked out? Do, like, do you, you guys have a plan? Because I'm a little worried. We do have a plan. I do have... Um, the fate of my future sort of depends on it. I, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we do. We've got, we've got a new host coming in That's after good. me. That's good. We got that all lined up. It's another white man. Oh, Thank whew. God. That's returning to our roots. That's especially good for me. I know. Okay. I know. Good. This good. little blip. Yeah. It won't be anything. We won't. Listen, you know, SNL had that brief period of time where like Robert Downey Jr. was there for whatever reason because Lauren Michaels was away doing something else. Yeah, we don't did. really talk about that we time. We don't worry no, about we it. No, we don't talk about this not too late. No. no. All that we know is that a white male will come and take my. Another place. alpha. Another alpha. Yeah. Another alpha. Um, so thank God. Yeah. This show will get some more testosterone in it. <sighs> for the better. It's been severely lacking, all that that um real bro dude mm -hmm. um sure. joke yeah. you know classic comedy classic comedy which the show is is classic comedy it's always been classic comedy it it's definitely hasn't divulged into its own thing yeah the only thing i'm currently worried about though with the show is just like our writers they quit at the beginning they came back but then oh. like i mean i assume with your uh your ever your ever present mm. um omnipotence yeah. that um I'm forced to actually yeah that, that non-stop you saw, what I'm doing is watching this I know that I it's it's evident yeah. um but like I, obviously you saw their behavior earlier so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to yeah where are they I noticed that like I you know was gonna meet the new writers try to teach them some wisdom tell them how lucky they are for not working 100 hours where, where are they at I, I kind of um sent them away to the kids table because oh. they were they were not not doing so well at this gathering I invited them to. I mean, listen, if you're not ready for the big big boy table, you got to go to the kids' table. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They were just uh, they were just doing a lot of things that were uh, making me a little a little angry, a little upset, a little upset. That's fair. But you know what? You know what, Mia? It's Thanksgiving. You know? I think it's a time not only for being thankful, but a time for giving and forgiving. So maybe you can see somewhere in that deep black coal of your heart mm -hmm. some forgiveness you're so right you've always been my voice of reason so i right. try to be you've always been it's that an alpha light. trait to be it is an alpha reasonable trait. you know what you know i'll go grab them you can meet them it'll be wonderful I'd i'll love to i'll go retrieve them from the kids table okay all right guys you can come back come on Wait, where's Sebastian? What do you mean? Yeah, you were just talking to yourself for quite a while. No, he was just here, I swear. Mia, Sebastian's been dead for four seasons. Huh. I could have sworn he was here. I guess it was just the magic of Thanksgiving. <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry for sending you away. I just, I realized that I was just subconsciously trying to distance myself from you all, so when my last episode comes, I'm not as sad. But I think it's more, in cher more important to cherish you guys now while you're still here instead of pushing you away. <laughs> you know, maybe the real Sebastian Russell were the friends we made along the way.